Another valuable resource will be Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride's book titled Gut and Psychology Syndrome. She's a physician in the UK treating children with autism and a parent of a child with autism who's recovered. She starts her treatment with the treatment of parents. And she believes, like many of us, that autism begins in the gastrointestinal tract and that the damage starts with abnormal flora. She reports that mothers that she sees that have children with autism have deeply abnormal flora and that this is a generation of mothers born in the 60s and 70s. And they might have had these issues. They were not breastfed. They themselves were exposed to antibiotics. Uh, they might have used the contraceptive pill, which has devastating effects on the gastrointestinal bacteria, and they ate processed foods. That combination, uh, she believes, set up women to deliver women to deliver uh, babies with abnormal flora, and therefore an abnormal maturation of the immune system. And that, of course, environmentally, we hit these babies with lots of vaccines and toxins. And she's also recommending the use of the specific carbohydrate diet in ASD, and I would highly recommend it for the entire family. Now, the specific carbohydrate diet was designed to help people with bowel problems, not specifically for children with ASD. So dairy's allowed on this diet for Crohn's and colitis in the form of butter, certain cheeses, and homemade yogurt. However, Children with autism should be using a dairy-free version of this diet for at least six months, and in many cases, it's more like one year. Although the homemade goat and cow yogurt provides an ex excellent vehicle to get good bacteria into the bowel, there are a few other good choices. Uh, families are using nut yogurts. They're using probiotics, which are good bacteria in a pill or their fermenting foods, what um, Julie Matthews talked about yesterday is an excellent way to get good bacteria into the bowel. So many families use coconut oil in the recipes in, in place of butter, squash in place of the yogurt, and sunflower or safflower oils worked well for baked goods. And this is a dairy-free version of the specific carbohydrate diet that actually uh, Dr. Uh, McBride is using. Um, so in our practice, we have the avoidance for at least six months. Um, and then when you initially add in uh, some dairy and actually ghee, it doesn't have any casein in it at all. Um, but it's a solid fat that uh, many families find very helpful to cook with. When there is an attempt to add the dairy in, you want to start at one-fourth teaspoon of homemade yogurt and increase that slowly if tolerated. 